friends i owe a deep debt of gratitude for all the fine words said about me in the address i feel sorry that your curiosity to hear me led you to a kind of bad manners i want you all to stand up solidly for retaining english as union official language but i also want you to cultivate good manners on a serious occasion like this my predecessor gave you a masterly exposition of the subject what i utter may carry some weight with those in authority but what he has said will carry much more authority than anything i am likely to say it is therefore appropriate that you should have mastered your patience for a few minutes more the reception committee chairman referred to an ugly demonstration at the airport i liked it very much but i do not like the temptation to disorderly ways they came in bus loads to tell me their opposite points of view do not i know this i am aware of the sentimental opposition and that is why i am shouting did i not tell my friends even yesterday before starting that i am going to face a demonstration here it did happen but if they are equally like us why this strong opposition it is to be opposed by argument i know that those for whom hindi is the mother tongue are vociferous of this because they feel that they can have some advantage why are we opposing because we do not like disadvantages to be imposed on us possibly if the behavior of the other party is softer and more reasonable we can even accept such domination the propaganda that is going on proved to us that we ought not to subject the future generations to that kind of domination we want young men to have equal distribution of justice of advantages as also disadvantages now therefore i have explained i do not like the demonstration we want a little sense of justice and practical common sense i know of a strong feeling that one of our languages should be on the throne and not english in the past people did not like that english should just be boosted by those old fools we have learnt english centuries ago and it is a gross mistake if we throw away our precious heritage today they said that they wanted to introduce hindi for the sake of unity it was a big cry i want to tell all people that unity came in a very indirect and wonderful way the british were ambitious and political minded they wanted to rule india with strength and contrary to their intentions india became united that unity amongst people and states was maintained by the language of the officers removing english was like removing pipes from a drainage system in a city therefore if english language is lost there is bound to be disunity let hindi be used in song and cinema let english be the medium of communication between one state and another between the center and the states and the language of the center itself the one percentage of the people knowing english language ran the administration both in the center and in the states the official language was not meant to buy things from the bazaar but for transacting business the movement for the imposition of hindi was that of the uneducated to govern the country the illiterate felt an exhilaration that they can become officers and members of the legislature 
because of our membership of the legislature education is not essential laughter i am not joking but laying down a democratic proposition i reiterate that the enforcement of hindi as official language for the entire country would amount to injustice and isolation between different sections of the hindi was not distributed evenly all over india politically and otherwise our progress was indissolubly associated with english the highest authorities maintained that english medium must continue having reconquered india by non violence it is unjust to impose hindi by violence it was a miracle that the best distributed language in india was that spoken by the least number of people if by a self denying ordinance the new republic of india decided once for all that they did not like to contact with the rest of the world and that hindi alone should be the official language it becomes impossible to enforce that doctrine the states might use the regional language though they might find it difficult to do that now national pride should not sway as deterioration in the english is due to the propaganda that is going on about its abolition ill considered schemes of education are also responsible for this my point is that we should be able to evaluate the scientific and technical literatures of the west international scientific terminology should be adopted the polyglot medium in the universities could be tried i would therefore suggest that hindi should first be introduced in hindi areas and developed to its full stature sudarshan metal works limited vijayawada dear sirs we acknowledge receipt of your letter of the 25th ultimo while thanking you for the continued cooperation you have been extending to us in the matter of constant increased supplies of your products we wish to convey to you the healthy liking that your products have earned from the public and the increasing sales we have been able to maintain will show the rapid rise in the sale of steel almiras of 7 1/2 feet into 3 feet and the new type of steel wells of 3 1/2 into 2 1/2 feet as you are aware the latter type is finding increasing favor with the petty shopkeepers all over this region as we have intimated to you in our previous letter the demand in order is already in the neighborhood of three figures since the design is very attractive and the size handy it is no wonder that it has earned such liking and repute next your new tuple boxes of 18 inches into 12 inches into 12 inches is on great demand in view of the strength of the box and thickness of the steel plates used and consequent durability we have been receiving umpteen inquiries whether our principals could supply steel boxes of still bigger sizes for use in the household we therefore will be very glad to inquire whether it is not possible for you to manufacture and supply steel boxes of required measures of course if the demand is commensurate with the effort and cost involved in such manufacture we wish to hear from you about this in your next letter next in great demand is the new type of folding cots both with plain iron sheets as also of spring wires as you will notice from our previous sales people from the rural areas are fast becoming good customers for these cots as they are bug proof and durable the sale of these cots is showing good and speedy progress 
provided the same standard is maintained the other articles of your manufacture as already informed are finding a steady market thanking you yours faithfully